Yo, what is going on, guys? Noodle here, and you guys are ready to go on a little adventure with me. You probably have no idea what this adventure is. Well, this adventure is going to be my longest narration I have ever done. Today, I will be walking you through Warzone Mythic Firefight, giving you my opinions on it. And what I believe are the best strats to use, best vehicles. I'll basically try to do my best to give you everything you need to beat Mythic Firefight. So let's get right into it, because we got a whole 15 minutes to fill. Yay! <laughs> well, first of all, Mythic Firefight um, is not as hard as people made it out to be. I played Firefight. Uh, I released a video before this. Uh, I actually beat it first try it was a little bit of a challenge but really not much i mean uh it's not that bad before this before i had tried it i was a little scared to do it thought it would be a waste of my time um for um grinding xp and rack points and stuff you know just normal grinding issues uh, you're trying to find the most efficient way to grind and honestly, uh, this is one of the most efficient playlists I've ever played to do that. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But this is not hard as long as you have an eight member fire team and you're in a party. I did. Uh, we ended up beating this four out of six times um, when we played it. We lost like two out of the three of the last ones we did or something, something like that. And uh, the only reason we lost was uh, very petty mistakes. We didn't spawn the right racks. It was just lack of communication. We didn't have enough people in the party. So you want to be sure you have at least seven or eight people in your fire team and make sure you have communication. You also want to make sure you have racks. Um, although when I say that, I don't mean you don't have to have like mythics or anything. You don't have to use Hannibal's. Uh, we used a lot of scorpions and wraiths uh those will come in handy um after the second or third round if you get six wrecks because um damn it what skull is it i'll post i'll post the kind of whatever skull it is in the description i can't remember the name of it but um it's a skull that uh, prevents your shields from regenerating starting round two um and you have to melee an enemy in order for your shields to regenerate when in reality you don't really need to do this if you play cautiously what we did was we stood back um away from enemies and try, kind of tried to shoot uh from a distance and tried to lose uh least amount of shields as possible it is interesting to know that although shields don't regenerate um the um your health bar does so if you stay back and just pick up a few guys and they shoot you a few times and you back up and have some health left, uh, your health bar will regenerate your shields just won't. So that's really useful. But yeah, vehicles are a, a must in this game mode. Um, I also found Void Stairs to be really useful in rounds um, two and three, typically when fighting some vehicle bosses. It's really easy to take them down. There's a round where you fight Phaetons. I don't know if we end up seeing that round in this gameplay. But um, there are two Phaetons, um, and there's two soldiers that pilot those. And at the beginning of the round, it's interesting to see that the soldiers actually aren't in the Phaetons. You have a few seconds to kill them before they jump into their Phaetons. Um, so if you are quick enough, you have to be really quick, but you can kill them before they get into their Phaetons, which is really interesting. But if they get into the Phaeton, it's not a big deal. Get like two people with Void Stairs and just keep shooting them and then have your teammates like shoot them and they'll be done. It's one of the fastest rounds. You can complete it in like 15, 20 seconds. Um, but vehicles are a must, uh, for sure. Ghosts. I would recommend Ghost in just about any other firefight, but not generally this, at least with the skulls that are active, because you're, uh, it, I believe the Ghost leaves you kind of vulnerable from the sides and maybe even a little from the back, um, and your shields will go down as well as your health. Um, I believe that covers it for the vehicle side. 
Now, uh, let's briefly talk about the amount of XP that you earn and RP. This playlist I was a little skeptical on because I had heard it's not really worth it. Um, and it's very hard. In reality, it's not that hard. I usually, without a boost, I can probably get five to seven thousand, five thousand XP on a loss, seven thousand XP on a win, and between, um, I believe it was actually around three thousand without a boost, and these are without boost. If you add boost, you get more. You get to consider a little amount more of whatever that boost entails. Um, I, without a boost, you could usually get maybe a little below or around 3,000, uh, RP, rec points. So the combination between the amount of XP you get and RP is phenomenal, especially if you're completing these rounds in about 15 minutes. These rounds finish in about 15 minutes. If you have a full fire team, if you don't have a full fire team, you're going to have a lot harder time with this because communication is really key. Um, I actually found one of the hardest parts of this week's firefight. This is the first time I played Mythic this weekend, by the way. So I'm assuming uh, these tips are going to be useful next weekend, too. Uh, these, uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep my um, commentary on a general basis, so it'll help with other maps and maybe even all their skulls. Um... One of the hardest parts of this mythic firefight uh, was actually not even killing. It was actually trying to find guys, trying to find bosses, typically on the um, elite, uh, like kill 30 elites and kill 20 knights or whatever it is. Those numbers might be flip-flopped, I'm not sure. But um, they're really spread out on the map and spawned in a lot of varied locations so it can be hard to find those enemies that is the hardest part you may want a ghost for that um you may not you may just want to run around and split up a little bit um but yeah see um we do have the phaeton around here i believe we just ended up just shooting these guys just keep uh voids tearing them a normal um Plasma Pistol will do as well. Although not as effective, but it will work. Um, let's see, what else do I want to cover? Oh no, I had more. I should, I should talk about the final round. I, of course, the final round is going to be the hardest round. Um, although it depends on what final round you get. Uh, typically on the final round, you're going to have between one and three mythic bosses spawn. It just depends on what kind of bosses spawn. Um, when you have the two knights and the warden, it's not too bad as long as you're coordinated. You can, like, if you have tanks, if you have, like, three or four tanks out, you'll get them no problem. Just focus fire on, a, like, one knight and then go to the other knight and then go to the warden and you shouldn't have any issue. Um... I believe the hardest round, at least this week, was the Grunt Jockey. I can't remember his name, but it's the original Grunt Jockey. And, like, you know those needles that used to, like, track your banshees like crazy? Um, and just nail you across the map? Well, it's this Grunt Jockey. And he's, he's a bitch. He's really annoying. Um, and the only reason he's annoying is... You can avoid them. Um, I would recommend using tanks and ultra wraiths and just any type of wraith at that matter. And try to shoot him with that. I wouldn't recommend Banshees when facing him uh, because he'll just take you out instantly as for a lot of bosses. I'd use heavy vehicles like tanks or wraiths. But um, he's really annoying because he has a lot, a lot, a lot of health. And it takes quite a while to take him down. You want to make sure... You have about at least three minutes, I'd say, to take him down comfortably. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be cutting it close. Or maybe even not get it at all. So basically, just communication is key on that. As long as you guys spawn the right vehicles, you should be a-okay. Um, what else? 
What else did I notice? All right, thank you, Kiva's mind is please don't be intimidated by Mythic Firefight. Mythic Firefight is not as hard as it seems, and even if you lose, especially if you make it in the higher rounds, you'll still get a decent amount of XP and RP, although not as rewarding as when you win. Um, if you have the racks and if you put in the effort, you'll win and have good communication. Communication is really key in this. Um, oh, I missed the laser shot. Uh, rip me. Uh, but, um, yeah. There is an exception to what I'm saying about the racks. If you are, like, level 100 or less, let's say, you could probably be okay at 100, but you may be a little short on racks. Because when I'm going through this, I'm playing with people who are, like, a minimum 130, I'm a 151, and I have all the racks I want. I have all the racks I possibly need. I can spawn them whenever, ever willy-nilly. Saying that, it is sometimes I forget that um, a lot of people have some rec problems in trying to get their racks and stuff um, because they're not experience they don't know exactly how to do it or they just haven't played the game as much um if you are one of these people who don't necessarily have racks um i would not recommend you can play this playlist a few times and have fun but um i definitely think it would be a lot harder for you to grind this playlist if you didn't have racks racks are a must like lasers um plasma pistols Wraith Ultras, or just Wraiths in general, and Scorpions in general are really useful. Um, I definitely, um, again, wouldn't recommend using, like, Hannibals or Onis, because honestly, if you have a whole team of normal Scorpions, it's fine. I would I usually save those special vehicles um, for, like, normal Warzone, because they absolutely just destroy... Uh, and I find them more useful in normal warzone compared to firefight. I like to think of firefight as this playlist where you can just use the racks you don't normally use, maybe the ones that aren't quite as useful in the normal warzone, and uh, you can get rid of and still actually use and get good use out of. It's also great for XP. So... I believe that's basically all I can really tell you guys right now. I think it's a really good playlist, really uh, efficient if you have the right team together and you can communicate. Um, every weekend, I think, you know, like Spliced, uh, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do the Splice um, Unfrig counter. I'm going to, on my stream, have like a um, Warzone uh, Firefight Mythic Wins. Or something like that, like hell of a mythic emblem and something, the number of how many wins we've got. <laughs> Excuse me. How many wins we've gotten. Um, I think I might actually do that. Just see how many mythic win wins I can rack up each weekend and I'll reset it for the next weekend once the weekend's over. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you like that idea. I would definitely recommend playing this playlist. It's a nice change of pace. I would recommend it, honestly, for everyone at least once. You should, honestly, at least beat it once. It's quite the experience. Um, and this is one of the uh, more welcoming changes I personally welcome to Warzone. I think it's a great addition on weekends. Um, so I think that is it. I definitely recommend this playlist. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my other videos. Um, I'll be having more uploads throughout the week. I have uh, uh, several videos slated to come up, including this one. So it ought to be great. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped a little bit. Uh, like the video if it helped. Dislike and uh, tell me in the comments on what I could improve on. I'm, I'm really looking forward to feedback on this. This is the first walkthrough I've done. So let me know how you guys uh, feel about this. Let me know if I helped at all. Or if I'm just a bad player, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, guys. Noodle out. Yeah, I guess only
Nice. Nice. Good shit. Ten seconds to go there. Twenty seconds to go. All right, so we're two for two. We are two for two right now. I think it would have helped if I would have spawned a tank earlier in the round, so that's my bad. I uh, totally wasted some yeah, wrecks I, there. I shouldn't have spawned a banshee. I should have spawned a tank instead of a banshee because mine got melted immediately. Then I didn't yeah. have any wrecks. Yeah, I think that's like the only.